What is good, everybody? Today we are reviewing WWE Elite Series 109, Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio. Both two profound members in the Judgment Day faction or stable in WWE. New world champion over here. Dominic's been on fire. I don't know how much on fire he's going to be without Mommy around. Or maybe she'll be around. We'll see. But a lot happening with the Judgment Day right now on WWE television. And if you will, leave a like on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. But what's incredible is Damian Priest actually has a fantastic track record of WWE figures. And we're going to dive into that today. Every Elite this man has is a banger so far and we'll see if that still holds true today and then Dominic Mysterio when he started doing this stuff man he completely won me over and I can't wait to dive into his new figure here with the flannel and everything been waiting on this one for a minute even though it's not that much different from his Elite 105 which we're going to dive into but nonetheless man this is what we have you have your world heavyweight champion this man is the world heavyweight champion unbelievable solid looking head sculpt in here I'm, I'm intrigued about the Damian Priest figure and we're going to dive into it but we do have Damian on the side here and then on the back you do have a shot of Damian right here a little bio read, rest of the figures in the wave. And then we have Prison Dom over here looking hilarious. Nice shot of him there, like his father, Eddie Guerrero. Nice shot of him there. Very good stuff on the side there, and there he is. I want to say, I could be wrong. I want to say this image right here was taken from a SmackDown that I went to. I'm pretty sure. I could be wrong about that. I'm just saying, I swear. Man was North American champion. Crazy. Anyways, man, that is our packaging for our Judgment Day figures. Now, we do have Rhea Ripley coming in Elite 110 that I'm so excited about. I can't wait for that figure man. So much better than her other elites. Easily her best figure. Still waiting on an ultimate by the way. And then we have a Finn Balor coming which I have my ifs about. Still hype for it in different ways but we'll, we'll dive into the lore. If you guys like these figures you want to pick them up or pre-order them. You can do so over at ringside collectibles wrestlingfigures.com Go over there. Save some money. Use code MDTOYS Save yourselves 10%. But with all those things being said man let's crack these figures out of the packaging find out what they're all about and see how our new Judgment Day figures stand in our collections. So here is Dirty Dom and Damian Priest out of our packaging. And I really, really like these figures at first glance. I have taken the time to pose them around and stuff. In these reviews, man, when I take them out of the packaging, I spend some time. I spend time posing them around, getting to know the figure, you know, trying to see what all we have here. And then we get into the review. I don't just unbox it immediately, put it on the thing and go. We do spend some time there, but I feel like you have to, man. You really have to, to really understand how these figures are. And I don't want, I feel like if you were to make a review based off initial impressions, your your thoughts can kind of change, and they can change after the fact, right? After I make this video, my thoughts could change, and I try to keep you guys updated when we rerun things or talk about the top figures of the year or what have you, and I don't know, you guys would probably have a better understanding of if my opinion changes from time to time, but I feel like I'm pretty set in my ways when it comes to things like this, for sure, but I don't know, maybe you could let me know, but what we're gonna do is run through Dominic Mysterio's accessories and Dominic, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at our World Champions accessories and the World Heavyweight Champion. All right, so for Dominic Mysterio's accessories, you get a cool flannel tee. That's not a flannel tee. That is clearly a flannel long sleeve shirt. That is a button down, you idiot. You get a bandana, you get some sunglasses and interchangeable hands. And this flannel is very high quality. I like the stitched on pockets here. It does Velcro at the neck right there. You know, that's kind of the style that he was rocking there. You know, it's like buttoned at the top and then you have this opening at the bottom. Which, you know, gives him that gangster look. But he's got the nice pattern going on. This is very similar to the one we saw in the They Live Roddy Piper. Not the same, but it is similar. But it actually goes all the way down. So you don't have the rolled up sleeves. But this is very good. I like this a lot. You could put this on a bunch of different guys probably if you wanted to. I know that you probably have to leave it open and it does have this on there. That's kind of the thing that stinks is when it's open like this, you have that black bar there. So that kind of does stink if you were to leave it open, but you can, you know, secure it right there. And I already have an Elite 105 Dominic with a flannel on it from a Brock Lesnar, which we'll look at. But now I can take that off that Dominic, so that's good. It was just kind of a placeholder. So this is a nice accessory. I like this a lot. One of my favorite accessories we've seen in this wave. We also have the purple bandana, which is, uh, which is very stiff. It's got like, it's... It's kind of a hard plastic. Not super hard, but it's definitely there. But you can take Dominic right here and just kind of clip this onto the face. And it looks pretty good on there. That looks pretty good. You know what it reminds me of? Is it the Ballers from San Andreas? That's what it looks like. Man is a baller in GTA San Andreas. Look at him. But this looks good. You could also... I don't know if you could put this on the neck. Let's see if you could put this on the neck. Yeah, I probably can't really put it on the neck. So if you wanted to do that. But it can go on the faces of people. And then just to see, I wanted to see if you could put this... I mean, I imagine you could put it on a bunch of different guys. But there you go. You could put it on Damian Priest too. So that's good. And then he also comes with his black shades here. Which I believe are a new mold, if I'm not mistaken. These could be brand new sunglasses. But they look 
look really good. They're a nice sculpt. They hug the figure well. And that's all you can ask for out of sunglasses, man. Never gonna fight you on that one. And then for interchangeable hands, you do get mic holding hands that have all of his tattoos on them, which is very cool. You got Mysterio on the Nux, which I think is an underrated tattoo. And then he also has fisted hands with the same tattoos. No missing tattoos here. So with this new Dominic Mysterio figure, I like the new head sculpt. I mean, he's essentially making the exact same expression, except the haircut's a little longer. It's a little bit more updated. Now this man's hair is long as hell, but I do like this head sculpt. I think it looks really good. You have the little Judgment Day tattoo right there, I do believe that is. Or it may just be, I don't think it's just a teardrop. I think it's the Judgment Day tats like Rhea wears. But I like the head sculpt. I mean, everything else is basically the same. You are adding, I think, a couple tattoos on the right shoulder right here. It may not be. It may be the exact, the exact same. We'll take a look at that when we get into the comparisons, but exposure got really blown out. But it's just a black torso, which is kind of plain Jane. You know, I kind of wish there was a graphic on there for sure, but it's not the biggest deal ever, especially if you're just gonna put the flannel over it. But I'm pretty sure he was wearing a Judgment Day shirt, so I don't know why you didn't just put a Judgment Day shirt graphic on there. Like the one that came with Damian Priest, I don't know what would be the deal there. Or you could take that one, put it on this, and then put the flannel over it, I guess. Just the things I think about. But going down, you have the, I mean, pretty much the exact same tights. I think the purple's a little darker here, but you have the Mysterio logos, and that is it. Pretty plain Jane there. And then you have these Judgment Day logos on the kick pads in plain black. So, I mean, pretty plain Jane figure. One thing I have noticed, though, is the is the pinless joints are pretty buttery smooth. They are not super tight and whatever, but the figure feels kind of compact in hand. And I don't feel like he's just awful to pose, which is a beautiful thing to see. I do like that. We always love to see that. So, that'll make your world go round there. But, yeah, Dominic Mysterio, Elite Series 109. Let's get into some figure comparisons with this Dominic. And for your Dominic figure comparisons, Here's all the Dominics I have in my collection besides the kid. Uh, hold on, let's grab the kid Dominic. So for your Dominic figure comparisons, here is all of the different Dominic Elite figures I have in my collection. You have the Elite 89 Dominic, the Elite 105, the Build-A-Figure, Kid Dominic, the new Elite 109, and then this is the Elite 105 with some fix-ups. So I added a Brock Lesnar vest, a Hangman bandana, some sunglasses, the bandana around the head from the Eddie Kingston, and then I added some Supreme Cody Rhodes boots. And it was kind of my placeholder updated Dominic until we got this version, which I I still think works. I think this is still a good placeholder, man. So maybe you want to skip out on this figure and just kind of make this fix up for now. Or you can pick up this new version, which I kind of do want to put him in all the garb. Now that you see him without the garb on, let's put all the stuff on. And so here's the Dominic and all of the stuff up next to the rest of the Dominics. And you can see, I mean, it's basically this figure. I mean, you could make some switcheroos, but yeah, it's a good standing on the different Dominic figures. And then for your Judgment Day figure comparisons, here is my current as it sits Judgment Day with the new Dominic and excluding that fix up Elite 105 for now. Until we get into the Damian Priest figure comparisons, this is my stand-in Damian Priest. And you guys can see, I mean, it already works pretty much for a Damian Priest with the Elite 105 Dominic shirt and the bandana from The Undertaker on there. Ha <laughs> ha, the bandana from The Undertaker. You understand it. But yeah, like this, we just desperately need that Elite 110 Rhea Ripley. God in heaven, I made this fix up forever ago, never added the decals, and I just, I hate all the Rhea Ripley figures. We need a new Rhea Ripley. That Elite 110 looks perfect. Can't wait for it. In the white gear too, Chef's kiss. Can't wait for it, man. Gonna be beautiful. Need a damn ultimate, though. God. But yeah, that is your Judgment Day figure comparisons. And then for Damian Priest, we do get cloth goods and some interchangeable hands, which we've already seen this Judgment Day t-shirt. I do believe it came with the last Dominic. So the Elite 105 Dominic Mysterio came with a Judgment Day shirt, and this is the exact same shirt. And funny enough, had this shirt already on my last or the first Damian Priest in the purple. I already had this shirt on that figure in my collection to kind of simulate a Damian Priest in Judgment Day garb. Put a bandana on there and stuff, which we'll see in the comparison shot of the video. But it's a good shirt. You know, it does have Velcro and everything, but it's a nice standard black t-shirt shirt. Never complain about cloth goods. And then outside of that, you do get the mic holding hands. No rings or anything on these Damien Priest hands. And then you also get fisted hands for your Damien Priest to beat the hell out of people. And getting into Damien Priest, we have this brand new Damien Priest head sculpt, which I really like. Giving me real Ministry of Darkness Undertaker vibes. Like the head sculpt, like the likeness, like the hair sculpt. I like the coloration here. Brand new torso on this guy too. If you pull the hair back, you can see that it's got this nice stitched torso in here, which actually is sculpted on there, which looks really good, man. A lot of details. I like all of these wrinkles and the way that fits the body. It looks so weird with the hair behind there, but this back in the front. You have this wing design on the back, which is very cool. And then you do have this dripping pattern on the back, which is actually sculpted onto the crotch piece, which is very unique. He even has the studs sculpted on, the belt sculpted on. Who over at Mattel just loves Damian Priest so much that they can't put this level of effort into every single Elite? Where's all these sculpts going, man? Every time Damian Priest gets a new figure, his legs are sculpted. Like, he gets these new crotch pieces, these new leg molds. 
every single, it's like Trash Corbin, man. Trash Corbin would always get these new sculpts and all these new leg molds. Same thing here. Three different elites, all brand new sculpted crotches, all brand new sculpted legs. It's ridiculous. I mean, congratulations to him. It's just, it's crazy. Can't get that on other people, though, huh? I mean, I guess, you know, his tights are different. He does wear a lot of belts and studs and buckles, but, I mean, these are crazy. This is going to be one of the better figures of the year. Look at all these sculpts going on. Look at these thigh pads. He's even got, like, uh, a nice texture to him. The black, silver, and purple. He has the pinless joints. I mean, this figure goes crazy right now. Unbelievable. And then you have the black and purple and the kick pads. Sculpted on the drips of the butt cheeks. I mean, what do we do? It's like Bronson Reed, man. Bronson Reed gets the damn... He gets the great cloth goods every time he gets a figure. Unreal, but let's get into our Damien Priest figure comparisons. And so here is all three Damien Priest figures that we've gotten so far. And look at this, man. All three of these figures are insane. Now, I know this is basically the exact same figure as this, but except it's not. I mean, they have the same head sculpt and torso. And he doesn't have gauntlets on there, but he's got painted on gauntlets. And the legs are completely sculpted. Every single one of these figures has a completely new leg mold that they have. All three of them have brand new legs that have these sculpted on thigh pads, these sculpted on chains, and all this different stuff. It's absurdity. But I like all three of them. They're, I mean, uh, dude's just killing it right now with his elites. And then here's a look at our new Judgment Day with the new Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio from Elite 109. Again, Rhea Ripley coming in Elite 110 in the white, which is going to be so glorious. Maybe you have to, you know, fix her up in some way so the white won't stand out over the top. Maybe put, like, cut one of the Judgment Day shirts or something. I don't know. I'll figure out something. But very sweet. Can't wait for that figure. And then we do have Finn coming in Elite 111, I think, who is going to be based on his SummerSlam gear, I think, with Seth Rollins. So should all be fun stuff. Should be all fun stuff. But I like the way the Judgment Day looks here. All their updated gears. It looks pretty damn good, Brad. And then the last thing I want to do is put the new World Championship that we have with Seth Rollins. Go ahead and put this onto the uh, Damian Priest here because he did cash in at WrestleMania. I was there when he cashed in and it... I was freaking the hell out, and I'm pretty sure I have my reaction caught on film, which is crazy. I was filming as he cashed in, and it was it was nutty. But there's a shot of Damien with the title. He looks pretty damn good with the title, man. Looks pretty damn good with the title, but there's your Judgment Day figure comparisons with your Damien Priest. But I think that about wraps up our WWE Elite Series 109 and Damien Priest Dominic Mysterio figure review. I really have enjoyed both of these figures, man. You know, the Dominic, I really do wish the graphic on the t-shirt wasn't plain black. I understand what they were going for. I get what they were going for there. I just think a graphic on there would have done better, even if it was just a little bit. Just, just a small graphic or anything. But it's pretty much a repaint of the Elite 105, but I do like it more than the Elite 105. Even though the Elite 105 has more colors and stuff, I like the haircut on this one. I like the likeness. I like the flannel a lot. I like the bandana. So... I like a lot of the things going on with this Dominic Mysterio. I really like it. And if you have the Elite 105, I guess it's not necessarily that you have to upgrade it, but I think the, the extra bonuses are cool. And I think you can, you know, fix them up and do some cool things there. So that may be something you want to look into. But in terms of the Damian Priest, this is the definitive Damian Priest action figure in terms of Judgment Day. I know we did have his first figure that was essentially Judgment Day that you could put a Judgment Day shirt on and it would pretty much be updated, but this has the better hair, the better likeness, the gear's more accurate. It is an actual fundamental Judgment Day world champion, Damian Priest. Pretty much what he looks like on television every single day right now, so that may be something that you want to look into for sure. Of course, we do have our Ultimate Edition coming later down this year, but I like this Damian Priest. I like this Damian Priest. Very good likeness. I love the sculpts on the pants, and he continues to bat a thousand. We always say you never, you know, nobody bats a thousand, but Damian Priest batting, batting a thousand. Absolutely crushing it right now in the figure department. I like the newly sculpted legs, and both of these guys' pinless joints aren't very tight. They feel buttery smooth for the most part, and they don't have that super stiff leg, which I like to see. I don't know if they made any changes. I don't know if that's, you know, something that has been pointed out there that they've, you know, they've tweaked or what have you, but it's coming across in the figures and you can't really argue with that. So I do enjoy that. But if you guys like these figures, you want to grab them, you can't go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But I have enjoyed both of these guys and I would recommend you guys pick them up if you are Judgment Day fans or you're enjoying their work or whatever the case is, man. These are pretty damn good, and I think you guys will enjoy them. But I think that pretty much wraps up Elite 109, Dominic Mysterio, and Damian Priest. I'm getting the hell out of here, man. I think this is going to be a double upload day. I think I'm going to do my ranking of these figures right after this, so stay tuned for that video coming later today. And we will also have a short going up. So, lots of content on the channel, man. Hope you guys enjoy your Saturday. I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel, man. You guys are absolutely incredible, as always. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Going to be working on a 
surgery video for tomorrow. Going to try and get that up tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. No promises, but we shall see. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my name, Toys Man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you guys later, and I'll see uh, uh.